I got one of these all kind of made. It was not 100% perfect, but 99.9999999. Uh, I recommend doing with paper as opposed to cardboard for obvious reasons, or maybe not so obvious reasons. But I'm about to about to cut that out, clamp to the saw horses. from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Look at all these cabinets behind me. Hey, morning guys. Morning. That was perfect timing. Today's mission is, uh, I mark kind of the midpoint of uh, between the wall and uh, we'll just say something to screw into. And then I marked more or less a midpoint of the wood from top to bottom. So the speaker could sit something like that. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I wouldn't be opposed to it sitting lower. However, there's a, a metal bar that comes down, so I, I can't go too far down. It comes up like three or four inches, so that's gonna be cutting it a little close, even something like that. So I think I'll just center it there, a little extra space on top. There's JT, by the way, one of the uh, owners over here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna try and get the speakers in. Got these uh, Polk Audio. Last time I had uh, Pioneers, they were like 30 bucks a pair. These ones are a little bit more. Wanted something bang for your buck, high quality. So, yeah, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Fast forwarding a little bit, I uh, made a grid, as you can see. I'm uh, holding down one of the thingamajiggies, uh, just with a 2x4. Yes, that is the official term for this, in case you're wondering. I know you're wondering. You always wonder. Okay, so I lined it up. The dots are more or less correct. There's a little center knob thing, little thingy. That's also the official term. Uh, so yeah, basically this is where it should go. I'm just going to trace this thing out leave a quarter inch or a half inch, eh, about a quarter inch gap, and then uh, we'll proceed on to the next one. So I basically found the midpoint of where I want the speaker to be, uh, took this square, made a straight line, where, uh, so yeah, like I said, midpoint, this line is where the screw holes go on that one, this line is where the screw holes go with that, and then I just went across. Anyways, you get the idea. I'm gonna make some holes. Anybody want to hire me for uh, speaker installation? These cutouts? I'm kidding, of course. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks like some kind of architect drew this. No architect did, just me. But they look pretty good. Just gonna double check that they are the same, you know, all that stuff, and then uh, we'll get hacking away. Looks like we're 132nd off height wise. I'm not going to tell you which one. If anybody notices, well, you're going to get a special badge and maybe a kick in the butt. Okay, so I did the first one so I could, you know, kind of figure it out, make some mistakes, and then show you guys how quick and easy this is. But really, everything takes time when you're custom making it. So that is a. Uh, about three sixteenths, not quite a quarter, I don't think. Not quite an eighth, yeah, about an eighth to three sixteenths clearance. So we'll do the same thing on this one, and I'll turn this on so you can watch in fast forward. As 
as you can see, we got it in. The second time was a little bit faster than the first. The third is gonna be faster than the second, so on and so forth, right? It's always better to cut less than cut more because you can't backtrack on this. So it's a very, very tight inside the circle. And uh, it's still, it's very snug. It still wobbles a little tiny bit, but once it screws are in the wood, it's gonna be just fine. Now while I'm playing over here, we have uh, a former professional painter. What's going on with this? Last piece. Last piece? We're putting a second coat. We put the color on yesterday, had it dry overnight, scuff sanded it. Yep. Now we're gonna put the, uh, the second coat on. Second and final coat. Excellent. Look at, how, look at how amazing these uh, cabinets are turning out here. This is really cool. Very thankful to uh, Steampunk Steve for coming by. If you haven't already, check out his channel. Give it a subscribe, click. And uh, he's got a ton of uh, build Watch videos. Lots of videos. <laughs> he loves his subscribers. Um, and uh, yeah, he's got a, a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, cool build stuff. He's got cool travel stuff. So uh, do him a favor, check him out. If you want to see places that most people don't go to, check out my channel. I go to the most bizarre, historic, and just weird places. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to use this top piece as a guide. This is a much more precise. This is actually exactly the curvature of the roof. That's a more or less the exact, you know, cut out, if you will, for the uh, thingamajiggies. This one, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna have to do that again. I'm gonna have to go inside and see if there's any wires um, to channel out. I think there's some on the uh, that side of the bus, that side being driver's side. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with. Pretty happy. I've realized something that I, I, I like precision work. I like when things are precise and I can easily get lost in complex tasks instead of just repetitive things. Um, you know, just like the lines and all that stuff. However, I am no stranger to taking shortcuts, perfecting one and then repeating it. So, but uh, yeah, this is what we're working with right now. Uh, Steve's got a second coat on the uh, cabinets and this bus is coming together before my very own eyes. It makes me very relieved because I'm not intending to stay in Colorado until 2019. <laughs> I would like to get on the road. That's one smooth time. It should be a professional jigsaw. Not bad, huh? I mean, I literally took the line for the whole thing. This is as smooth as the other one, but it's a lot easier when you have a correct template. The other one was made out of paper and everything, so. Uh, all right, well, this is what we got. So, we gotta chop some off that end, that end, and then uh, test fit this bad boy. But if you use your imagination, you will have seen holes three and four cut. These ones were just one cut, I promise. Of course, I say that when I'm not even filming it. Uh, but uh, we got a little primer in there. We have a uh, first, cabinet door that uh, Justin and Renee made. So we got, uh, was that maple on the inside, poplar on the outside. Poplar because I guess it, it doesn't have grains as much as oak. Oak. Yep, there we go. <laughs> we got uh, Steampunk Steve over here. Just give it a nice little roll on the uh, front. I don't know, I'm calling these things caps. The front part, it's where the speakers like are going to go. So it can be rock and roll if you choose. Okay. I'll, I'll try not to do that because that would mean I'm upside down. Now uh, Steve put a layer of primer on uh, both of these. This one is the front, the other one was the rear. And uh, after that we will put on the uh, cream white color to match, uh, oh here it is, this is what it looks like dried. Uh, cream white color to match the uh, cabinets. All right, just been hanging out here watching the paint dry. This is the first coat of the cream. I think I've been inhaling too much uh, paint fumes here. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Let's check in on uh, Mojo Bus and see what's going on here. Well, yep. there's a little gap in the door. It looks like a door to me. 
can see the, uh, this is, would be the door front over here. And uh, do you want to explain what you're doing right now? Well, I'm just kind of uh, filling in some of these little cracks and stuff we have mm -hmm. around here, little spaces. With a uh, wood filler. Some wood filler. Cool. And then we're going to sand everything smooth and paint it. Awesome. And that's just to get rid of the cracks and make it all make it visible. All pretty and smooth and yeah. Awesome. There we go. Here are the other do uh, doors. Are there more doors that you got to do? Yeah. Is that the last one? Yeah, and then I got to recut this one. Yeah. Because we had a nail gun accident. Oh, gotcha. Wrong way? No. Wrong bad angle. Bad angle. Ah, that happens. It happens. So this section is the uh, fridge drawer front. Ah, yes. The fridge drawer front. So, that'll be cool. That will be super cool.